Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. I mean, seriously, it does not work without you guys. It's been a long day. It's like 7 o'clock in the evening. Um, I had my stress test. I got a virtual appointment with the doctor tomorrow, trying to see if they can figure out what the heck is wrong with the, my heart. Some of you guys say I ain't got one, so goes to show you I do have one. But uh, Carlos Fisher, Loretta Louderback, Steve Nichols, you guys, your racks are going out tomorrow. We actually just finished packing those bad boys, and they're on the way. Well, racks and or shot glasses. Uh, Steve got got a shot glass because he's going to keep his ass. He gonna, no, no. I'm sorry. Those are all racks and shot glasses because all y'all going to keep your ass at home as we should do because this stuff seems to be working a bit that and uh we got a couple of new channel members your shot glasses are going up and if you become channel members not subscribers channel members and you have not gotten your shot glass email me so that way i can try and figure out how i messed up but i'm very, very i'm very very happy because what i'm doing this is what we can all do here we got time Time is on my side. Yes, it is. Um, we got time. So what you can do is make the most of the time. Don't just sit around watching the news all day and going crazy, okay? Try to improve your situation, no matter what it is. I had gone through, and this is like the my office right here, and my office is like my head. It's just cluttered with crap. But I um, cleaned this up today. Look, look. I've got my postal scale here, so that way when I ship stuff out, I can wait, wait right here as opposed to having to put it over there and trip on it. I got a printer to print out the labels, so that way we can make sure that we got them in there. And we're trying to get a system so that way when you guys become a channel member and say, you know, I, I didn't get anything, you know, we can send you a confirmation number so you can track the stuff. So this is using your time wisely because you only have so much of it. You better make the most of your time because before you know it, your time's going to be up, and you're going to be wishing that you had more time to do what you should have done before. Which brings me to Dez. Okay. Mike Farello today did a scathing article on Dak Prescott and Dez Bryant, even though there were other guys that were there working out with them. You know, Zeke Elliott was there, and Michael Gallup was there, and things like that. But he just focused in on Dak and Dez and basically said, it's appalling that these guys, with everything that's going on, are out there working out. Uh, and and he, he does have a point about social distancing and all that. But I can guarantee you that, one, we don't know when those workouts were. That there are other guys that are out there doing the same thing. Now, I, for one, say don't promote it because then kids say, well, Dez Bryant and Dak Prescott can go work out. Then why can't I go play ball with my kids? I mean, with the other kids, does not exactly set up a best example. But understand one thing about Mike Farella and most of these guys that are in the media. They want to salacious, salacious. They, they want the story and the outrage and everything else. And they have a tendency to blow things bigger than what they may be. Because you may remember there was an incident with Mike Farello and Des Bryant. Some years back when Des Bryant was working on getting his deal. Because it was Mike Farella who said on a radio interview in passing, there might be a tape out there of Des Bryant that's 10 times worse than Ray Rice. Might be. There might be a tape out there of every single one of us that's 10 times worse than Ray Rice. Doesn't mean there is. Might means there could be. It's possible. Who knows? The problem with that was is most people took it as there's a tape out there of Des Bryant that's 10 times worse than Ray Rice. Des Bryant is a woman beater, spouse abuser. And this is the thing that bothers me when I watch what ESPN and Fox Sports and these things have become is it's not about the facts. It's about getting you to click. It's like TM sleaze. Because that whole thing blew up. It even went to Adam Schefter. People asked him, what do you know about this Des Bryant tape? 
And instead of saying, I don't know anything about it, it's news to me, he said, oh, we've been spending a lot of time on this, and we're going to be coming out with a report on it. We've been spending a lot of time on it. So that ends up now giving it more justification, because evidently it sounds like you found out something more on the situation. And even other ones that went through and said, you know, a policeman called to Des Bryant's house six times on six occasions. And it made it sound like, in most people's minds, it was like Miami Vice was coming in there with automatic weapons and storming the, the, the place. One of the ones was because a kid got locked in a car and they needed some help to unlock the car. Another time was the wrong house and Des didn't even live there. So... There's perception and then there's reality. And Mike Farello likes to make perceptions that are rea that are not reality, but make you think that the reality. So this is the new hottie of Des, should he stay or should he go? So there's an article out there, three reasons why Des should come back. Because Randall Cobb is gone, okay. Randall Cobb, slot receiver, gone. But as far as I remember, Des Bryant basically played the number one wide out on the sidelines. He wasn't a slot receiver, though. You could put him already in the slot, but I don't know that I want to put him in the slot all the time and put Des on the outside. Okay, that's one. Two, familiarity with everybody else's effort. He knows Dak. You know, he knows the offensive line. He knows Kellen Moore so that he would be able to fit right in. Well, that, that, that is true. That, that, there's a lot to that. And three, that he's had a lot of time to heal. This is the one I kind of wonder about because didn't he have a lot of time to heal before he practiced one week and ruptured his Achilles? Um... I'd say it's worth taking a look under the hood and seeing what you got. But, you know, you got to understand what you get with Dez, that there's going to need to be some different changes in understanding that you are no longer the guy, that you are a role player. And social media needs to be dropped down a couple of notches. We need to stop putting everything out on social media like you're me and on YouTube. But what do I know? I'm a guy sitting here at my day job talking to you about football players. I'd like to know what you think. Should Des Bryant return to the Dallas Cowboys? Yay or nay? I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I'm going to go out here and get these chickens out the uh, smoker. I'm going to get me something to eat. I'm going to finish this other rack and get it in the mail. But I want to thank you guys for being here and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report.